Recent astronomical discoveries have unveiled two massive structures, known as the Fermi and E. Rosita bubbles, towering above and below the Milky Way's center. These mysterious formations change what we know about our galaxy's past and give us important clues about the powerful events that shaped it. In this video, we will discuss the discovery of these massive bubbles, their possible origins, and what they reveal about our galaxy's turbulent history. In 2010, NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope made a groundbreaking discovery. Two immense gamma ray emitting bubbles extending approximately 25,000 light years, both above and below the Milky Way's core. These structures, aptly named the Fermi bubbles, presented a symmetrical, balloon like appearance, suggesting a powerful and energetic origin. The Fermi bubbles were found to contain high energy particles moving close to the speed of light indicating an event that released an enormous amount of energy into the surrounding galactic space. These gamma ray emissions provided the first strong evidence that something violent had occurred at the heart of our galaxy in the past. The sharp edges of the bubbles suggested that they were not remnants of random energy releases, but were instead caused by a well-defined event. A decade later, in 2020, the Erosita X-ray telescope aboard the Spectrum Rowentgen Gamma mission revealed even more extensive structures. These Erosita bubbles spanned nearly 45,000 light years above and below the galactic plane, emitting primarily in the X-ray spectrum. Notably, they encompass the previously identified Fermi bubbles, indicating a possibly connected origin. This suggested that these structures were not just limited to gamma ray emissions, but were part of an even larger, more energetic event that shaped the galaxy. The detection of these bubbles was made possible through advanced instruments capable of observing high energy phenomena. The Fermi telescope specializes in gamma ray observations, while Erosita focuses on X ray emissions. Their combined data have provided a more comprehensive view of these colossal structures highlighting their significance in the study of galactic dynamics. The discovery of the Fermi and Erosita bubbles has sparked significant interest in understanding their formation. One prevailing theory attributes their origin to past activity from Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the Milky Way's center. It's proposed that millions of years ago, Sagittarius A star experienced a period of intense activity, ejecting high energy particles that inflated these massive bubbles. This could have occurred through a process known as a black hole jet, where a surge of matter is funneled toward the black hole before being expelled outward at extreme speeds, heating the surrounding gas and producing the observed gamma ray and X-ray signatures. This theory is supported by observations of similar structures in other galaxies, where active galactic nuclei produce energetic outflows that shape the host galaxy's environment. The idea that our own galaxy underwent such a period of intense black hole activity suggests that Sagittarius A star was once far more active than it is today. This could mean that the Milky Way has undergone multiple episodes of black hole-driven outbursts throughout its history, influencing star formation and the overall structure of the galaxy. Alternative hypotheses suggest that these structures could result from starburst-driven galactic winds. In this scenario, rapid star formation near the galactic center would produce numerous supernovae, collectively generating powerful winds capable of sculpting such vast bubbles. The energy released from these supernovae could have been sufficient to push gas outward, creating the Fermi and Erosita bubbles. Numerical simulations have been instrumental in exploring these theories. By modeling the injection of energy from potential outbursts, researchers can recreate the observed characteristics of the bubbles. These simulations help determine the plausibility of various formation scenarios, providing insights into the energetic events that have shaped our galaxy. Scientists have examined how different energy injection models including jet-driven black hole activity and supernova-driven winds, would have influenced the gas distribution in the Milky Way.
The fact that the observed structures align more closely with black hole-driven models strengthens the case that Sagittarius A-star played a key role in their formation. Additionally, researchers have used microwave and radio observations to complement X-ray and gamma-ray data, allowing them to better understand the timeline of these outbursts. The microwave haze observed in the galactic center is another clue, suggesting that the event that formed these bubbles may have lasted around 100,000 years, with a peak in activity around 2.6 million years ago. This timeline coincides with other evidence of increased star formation in the galactic core, further linking black hole activity to changes in the Milky Way's structure. Interestingly, similar phenomena have been observed in other galaxies, suggesting that such energetic outflows might be more common in the universe than previously thought. For instance, the Orion Eridanus Superbubble is a structure located west of the Orion Nebula, formed from overlapping supernova remnants associated with the Orion OB1 stellar association. This superbubble is approximately 1,200 light years across and provides a nearby example of how massive stellar activity can shape the interstellar medium. Moreover, simulations from the TNG 50 cosmological model have produced X ray emitting bubbles and shells in the circumgalactic gas of Milky Way like galaxies. These simulated structures bear a striking resemblance to the Fermi and Erosita bubbles, suggesting that such features are not rare and may be a common consequence of episodic, energetic events in galaxies. These observations and simulations underscore the importance of energetic feedback processes, such as supernovae and black hole activity, in shaping galaxies. They highlight the dynamic and sometimes violent nature of galactic evolution where massive outflows can redistribute energy and matter on galactic scales. Future research aims to delve deeper into the properties of these bubbles. By studying their composition, energy distribution, and interaction with the galactic medium, scientists hope to uncover more about the processes that drive galaxy evolution. Upcoming observational campaigns, utilizing both current and next-generation telescopes, will play a crucial role in this endeavor. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for our next video. And until then, keep pushing forward. See you next time.